Welcome to episode 178 of Clarity Compressed. I'm Paul J. Daly. Today, we're going to be talking about why the day before vacation is so productive. <laughs> Let the good times roll. This is Clarity Compressed. All right, everyone's gone on vacation at one point or another, and you realize this phenomenon that all of a sudden, the week leading up to, and especially the day before vacation, you find yourself being incredibly productive, so productive that you kind of question like, what the heck do I do when I'm not going on vacation? Like, why can't I get this much stuff done? I'm in the middle of that right now. I'm recording some podcasts early. I'm about to go on a vacation or a staycation or doing a lot of fun things next week. And I've gotten an immense amount of work done today, um, or not today, but this week. This is the last day. And I always question this. So I, I spent some time thinking about it. I mean, this is the third podcast I've recorded this week. Never done that in the history of my life. Recorded three podcasts in one week. And so I put some thought into it. I'm like, why is it that I'm so productive on the last week vac of vacation? And how can I harness some of that? And how can I help you harness some of that so that we can be more productive in our regular lives? And not only more productive, but when we're more productive, let's be honest, it's like, it's just more fulfilling. It's more rewarding and it motivates us to keep going and to keep doing. You know, a number of things have happened in the last week that have contributed to the productivity, but nothing more than the fact that today is my last day before vacation. And I think the element of having a very tangible reward, a very tangible reward that's like short term. A lot of you, a lot of, a lot of me, a lot of you, a lot of me, a lot of us, we go through business life and, and other, maybe other things in business, family life and business life, where our life is full of a lot of long-term objectives, long-term grinds, where you constantly and consistently put in the work and put in the grind, and over a long period of time, you see the result. And that's, that's good and it's healthy, and it's how life is really supposed to work most of the time. But the reward, the tangible reward at the end of the week before vacation is that now you can unplug. Now you can check out. I'm looking forward to unplugging from this phone. I'm looking forward to unplugging from Slack and email and using that time to really recalibrate and refresh myself. And so that's a very tangible reward. So I think that that helps lean in and be more productive because there's a tangible reward when we're used to long-term tangible rewards, or at least I'm used to more long-term tangible rewards. So I think that's one of the reasons. Another big reason is thoughtfulness. Thoughtfulness about what we spend our time doing in that week before vacation or that day before vacation. All of a sudden, my ability to prioritize seems to go into hyperdrive and I understand where I should be spending my time and why. And then I do those things and I get the most important things done. I don't allow myself to daydream. I don't allow myself to drift into the Instagram hole. I don't, I don't go those places because there's a more focused intensity on how I'm prioritizing my time. I just hired my first business coach ever. Um, I've been in business almost uh, creeping up on uh, 19 years now, and I've never had a coach. And so I've seen a lot of other people with coaches and kind of, you know, there's a lot of options out there and everybody, everything from, you know, somebody who's never been in business who wants to be your business coach all the way up to people who have been in business and super successful and they're willing to be your business coach. And I've never had one. So I thought, you know, my wife and I have been talking about it for probably the last six months. And uh, I finally found one that I thought would be really good for me in this season. Uh, you may have heard of him. His name is David Meltzer. You should look him up. Um, he puts out a ton of free content. Um, very successful businessman. Either way, you can look him up and, uh, and check him out from there. But we had our first kickoff call this week for our one-on-one. -on -one, and he encouraged me. And he said, really, my homework assignment was to thoughtfully prioritize my day. Now, admittedly, I'm not good at it yet. I've actually forgotten to do it um, because I didn't prioritize the right things. I forgot to do it a couple days. But really, David's teaching me and leading me in the direction of categorizing 
what I spend my time on, whether that's uh, personal life and family, financial goals, uh, things that I, experiential goals and things I'm going to do experience, and then also giving. And really it's, you know, starting with the activities that are most important and then prioritizing them to the least important and not just prioritizing them, but being thoughtful about why that's important, why it's important to spend my time on those things. And, um, you know, it's really interesting that just a little bit of thoughtfulness, a little bit has already started to make a big difference on what I'm doing with my time. I'm going to give you two examples right now in personal, uh, my personal life where this has made a massive difference and in my business life. And I'm still trying to decipher, let's be honest, in my organizational and professional life, there is that little bonus of the week before vacation. So being extra thoughtful about what I'm doing. And then, oh, by the way, you get that boost of the week before vacation. So we'll, we'll, well, let's talk about the professional life. So every time I have engaged in something or found myself uh, spending a lot of time or having a decision of what I should spend my time on, I just actually play that tape forward a little bit, not necessarily to the end, but I play it forward a little bit and say, oh, if I spend time on this, it's because I want this to happen so that this can happen, right? So I just, you know, I'm spending time on this podcast right now so that I can share it with my community so that I can connect with some new people that may open up more opportunity for all of us, right? And so now I understand if that's important. If that's not important, then I don't do the podcast, but it is important to me. And then I can do that with all the other times that um, I allocate in my calendar. If someone asks me to be on a show, if I have a team meeting, if I'm going to start a new project or explore a new project, all these things now I can weigh in. You know, my wife and I, uh, a couple days ago, I usually wake up before everybody and I kind of get my morning routine in and then I head out the door so I can get started on the day. I like to get an early jump before people are up. Well, my wife sometimes wakes up. We have two babies in the house um, and she got up and we started talking. And, and before I knew it, I found myself, you know, 20 minutes into a conversation and my routine now has been thrown, right? What I had planned has been changed. And we actually, actually ended up in going into a pretty deep conversation. And my natural tendency, like my selfish tendency is to like, you're, you're messing with my whole schedule here. It's like, you know, it's 7 a.m. And, and I'm already off. Right? And that's my mentality because it's selfish because I'm selfish. In that moment, my coach's words, David's words started to register and caused me to be thoughtful about what I was prioritizing. And I'm like, oh. I'm not spending my time right now. I'm investing it in my relationship with my wife and caring for her. And it enabled me to just like settle in and then prioritize that. And you know what happened? The funny thing that happened is the conversation went fantastic and I was energized going into the rest of my day so that I could do it again, prioritize the next thing and prioritize the next thing. So that thoughtfulness has forced me or at least encouraged me to go in the right direction. So on that day before vacation, on that week before vacation, when you are amazingly productive, guess what? That is available for you every week. And part of making this show for me is reminding me that that is available for me every week in the hopes that it will give me the perspective and the clarity that I can do this next week and the next week and the next week. And when I get back, and I hope that you can too. And I hope that you do too. I hope that this enables you to start focus and think a little bit more about what you're doing and what you're spending your time on and why. Because the more productive you can be with your time, focusing on the things that actually matter and the things that actually mean something, the more you can give, the more you can serve, the more joy you can have, the more fulfillment you can experience, the more innovative you'll be. So I hope that in some little way, this podcast encourages you to do that. Now, um, I have like five hours left, or maybe it's like eight hours left of today, and I'm going to lean in, I'm going to get a lot done, and then I'm going to check out, and then I'm going to come back to you with a lot more energy and a lot more focus and a lot more, a lot more. That's all I have to say. So until next week, I hope you get more productive. I hope you get more thoughtful about what you're doing. Get that clarity, and I'll see you next time. We can.